YouTube, Corn Cob Piper coming at you. It is a Sunday, November the 12th. Hope everybody's having a, I'm sorry, Saturday, November the 12th. Hope everybody's having a, actually, no, I'm sorry. It is Sunday the 12th. Hope everybody's had a great weekend so far. Uh, this, uh, this video is going to be um, just announcing what uh, tobaccos that I plan on smoking for the 2017 uh, holiday season. There are quite a few of them. I also have a couple of uh, new additions that I'm going to show you. Now I do plan on reviewing uh, several of these tobaccos. Obviously there's going to be way too many of them for me to actually do reviews on them all. Uh, but I will at least be smoking one bowl of each of these, um, you know, from between now and, uh, you know, through uh, midnight, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with... Uh, the bulk tobaccos and just a little little uh, knowledge about the corncob viper here. I am a huge 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 Christmas fan uh, Almost to the point where it makes some people you know sick to their stomach. It is by far my favorite holiday I look forward to it every year and I'm definitely always look forward to smoking these Christmas blends as well uh, That's just why there are so many and I've been accumulating th these throughout the year some of them I've already had uh, but without further ado, let's get to it. So we'll start out, like I said, with the bulks. Uh, this one comes from uh, Pipes and Cigars. Uh, this is Russ Willett's uh, Snow Drift. Uh, I believe that's a chocolate uh, aromatic. Next up, another Russ Willett blend, uh, Sugar Plum. If there are any specific uh, tobaccos that you're watching me go through that you would like to see reviewed uh, between now and New Year's, definitely comment below and I will do my best to make sure uh, that I get that specific tobacco review for you because like I said, I'm not going to be able to do, do reviews on all of these uh, Next up another uh, Russ Willett. Uh, this is Yule Log. I believe this is in English Definitely is I can smell that Latakia through the bag We also have from uh, Mylan Tobacconist in uh, Virginia. This is their uh, Christmas blend Also, another run one from Russ Willett. Uh, this is Russ's uh, Candy Cane Cocoa. Strauss Tobacco, Tobacconist uh, Wenselis, 2015. Peterson Holiday Blend, 2015. And one that I've just picked up recently, I've actually already been smoking this and I sent a sample off already. I actually got to get this jarred up. This is uh, LJ Peretti's Thanksgiving Day. We have some Sutliff Christmas Spice. Uh, now I'm not a huge fan of uh, Sutliff's tobaccos. Pretty much all the ones that I've had have given me tongue bite, at least they're aromatics. So I'm not sure how well this one will go over, but I'm still going to give it a try. Got some uh, Hearth and Home Eggnog. Another Rust Willette blend. Some Boswell's Christmas Cookie. And some uh, Drew Estate Meat Pie. And I actually just did a trade with Mark Hoosier Piper. I'm going to be sending them samples of all these blends in return for some meat pie, which is one of my favorite Englishes. Very, very nice of Mark to offer to do that. Definitely looking forward to uh, adding some more of that into my cellar. Now we're going to go ahead and get to the tins. Uh, this is uh, Holiday Spirit 2017, and this one actually came uh, from Mark Hoosier Piper in his 100 sub giveaway, so you're going to get a sample of this uh, here back, Mark. Cornell and Deal uh, corn cob pipe with a button nose. Cor uh, Cornell and Deal, a Golden Days of Yore. Uh, I've been watching some reviews on this and it's getting a lot of kind of negative reviews. I did see, I believe Adam the Piper did a, a positive one uh, just the other day. So definitely I'm staying optimistic about this one. Uh, but from what I'm seeing from a lot of the people smoking this, they are not big fans of it. And then another Cornell and Deal, and this is uh, We Three Kings. Also some Mac Baron uh, Plum Cake. And some 2016 McClellan Christmas Cheer. Now also a couple of new uh, 
acquisitions. And I gotta grab something. Hold on, I forgot one of the tobacco. So sorry about that, guys. Another um, another one of the bulk blends that I forgot about that I'm gonna be smoking this holiday season. Not really per se a holiday blend, but just one that I like and I've been wanting. I'm gonna incorporate it into my holiday rotations. Um, this is uh, Cornell and Deal, uh, Old Joe Krantz. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this for the holiday season, uh, Mr. Scrooge. Um, the reason I chose this, not only do I like it and I've been craving it, uh, but I always picture in my head, and I don't know why, uh, the character, Old Joe Krantz, looking somewhat like, uh, you know, Mr. Scrooge. So just something that always popped in my head, and I figured I would go ahead and incorporate it into uh, my holiday blends as well for you guys. And then the last holiday blend uh, that I have here, this was a early Christmas gift from uh, Pipe Tree. Uh, this is a tree mixture. i uh, definitely looking forward to trying this one this holiday season. Like I said, guys, it's a lot. Not gonna be able to review all these. I'm gonna at least get a bowl of each of these smoked personally, uh, but I'm not gonna be able to smoke uh, the, the enough quantity of each of these to actually do a review. So once again, if there is something specific that you would like to uh, see me review, definitely go ahead and make sure that you comment so I can make sure to get that done for you guys. And then this is a uh, acquisition that I just made, a early Christmas present to myself. Uh, I actually bought two of these tins, uh, one for myself and one that I'm gonna be giving away as a Christmas gift. Um, and this uh, is one of John Matches 860's former favorite tobaccos. Uh, so I've always wanted to give this one a try. And uh, this is Mac Barron's Burley a London Mixture. And you see just the age on here, there is a CD-ROM inside this tobacco for some kind of a giveaway, obviously, that Mac Barron was doing. But this is a pretty big tin. Uh, the other one that I received is the same size, but like I said, I'll be sending that one out. And then the piece de resistance, something that I've been sitting on for over a month now, uh, about a month and a half, I ordered this up. Uh, it's been very, very hard for me not to bust open this box, uh, but I wanted to wait specifically till I did this video uh, to go ahead and open it. And this comes from uh, Mylan Tobacconist out of uh, Roanoke, Virginia. I'm gonna go ahead and post the link down below. There is a gentleman at the, uh, at the, at the pipe and tobacco shop there, Mylan Tobacconist, um, that paints uh, cobs. So basically you can order custom cobs. Uh, all you have to do is email them. And like I said, I'm gonna post the links down below because uh, his work is phenomenal. I have not actually seen this pipe, but he did send me pictures. And I actually, the idea that I got for this pipe was based off of a uh, Christmas t-shirt that I wear. And uh, got a little thank you note in here with hours and everything and then the invoice. And then here we go for the pipe itself. But like I said, I am very, very excited uh, to get this guy open. Got to find my knife. I'm not sure where I set it. Here we go. So it is bubble wrapped as you can see. Got to uh, cut the tape off the, the bubble wrap here. So here we go guys. This is the, the Christmas pipe that I ordered. So as you can see, it's a night scene with a super cool snowman on there. Nice big star. Painted the shank. Got his uh, initials there. Once again, his name is CJ. Still has the Missouri Meerschaum sticker on the bottom. Just super, super cool, guys. I can't wait to smoke this. Probably during my first review I do, uh, which will be in the next couple of days. It's going to be that pretty Thanksgiving day because uh, I have been chewing on it for about a week now. Um, I'll go ahead and smoke out of this pipe as well. So super cool. Uh, CJ, and the off chance that you're watching this and maybe I'll go ahead and email you the link so you can check it out, man. You do great work. I love this pipe. It is super cool. And just can't wait to smoke this thing for many, many Christmases to come. I may end up actually ordering a new one from you each holiday season just so I could start somewhat of a collection. 
So that's what I'm going to be smoking um, this this holiday season. I also do have a, a 7LE um, a 320 shaped, uh, the Tooth St. Nicholas uh, 2016. I am going to be ordering up here in the next couple of days a um, another 7LE St. Nicholas, the 2017, but I'm going to get the, the I believe it's the 604. Uh, which is the saxophone shaped one. I think that kind of is reminiscent of, of what kind of pipe uh, that I would picture Santa Claus smoking. So that's why I picked that that shape to get. Uh, just wanted to share you guys, uh, you know, what, what my plans are uh, for this holiday season. I'm, I'm super excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas to get here um, and sharing some of these blends uh, with you guys as well. So uh, wishing you guys the, uh, uh, you know, a happy Sunday the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, YouTube, keep on piping.